Hey everybody, it's Ace Coden, and welcome back to another video. Today, part one on how to make a coin tycoon game on Scratch. So first, you need to make a new sprite. That's just going to be a simple coin. It's a circle. And if you want to do a perfect circle, hold shift while you're doing it, while you're drawing it. Then it's perfect. So then, I'm just gonna make it go to zero zero so that it stays in the middle. So now you're gonna make a backdrop that's whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do blue, and that's it. Um, also name it coin when dream flag clicked go to zero zero though so that's what happens when everything resets when you click the green flag so say if you move it somewhere else um, when green flag click it will go to the middle Get yeah, forever if in that if put an and touch your mouse point up in the first one and mouse down in the second one. If touch your mouse pointer and mouse down, this means that if it's touching the mouse pointer, which is the thing that you drag with your mouse. And if mouse down, so if you're clicking like this, in here is what we want to happen. So we want to do a clicking effect. Like we want to make it a bit bigger, then go smaller again. So put set size to 100%. 110%. Percent, I mean, the size is how big it is. And at the start, put a set size to 100% so that everything resets. So now, if we click it, it goes big, but it doesn't go small again. So we'll need to get another if. Or you can just duplicate this. Take this out, touch a mouse pointer and mouse down, take it out. Put a knot inside the if and put the touch point touch your mouse pointer and mouse down inside the knot then put 100% inside the set size 2 so this means that if it's not touching the mouse pointer and the mouse isn't down so it's not clicking then we want it to set size to 100% which is normal size so now look if we test out our project um, oh I forgot to click the green flag if we test out our project, see, our coin goes big and then back small again. So since this is a coin tycoon game, I'm just going to quickly add some text that says coin tycoon. Oops. And then I'm going to add an outline to this to make it a bit bolder. Because it really stands out. So that's what I'm going to put. I'll just put that at the bottom. I might make the outline a bit smaller. So about there, so now you can just rename the backdrop stage or something, whatever you want. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to make a coin clicker game. 
a coin tycoon you can make a cookie clicker game or something else so now make a variable we don't need the my variable just get rid of that make a variable called coins and variable store var variable store data so this is gonna store how much cash we have just make it to be like this by double clicking or if that doesn't work you can just right click and choose whichever one you want I'll do large readout because it's big and bold and nice so then you need a well you won't need it but just to make your game look nice I'm gonna add a dollar sign up here just to show that that's how much cash you have so like I'm, I'm gonna add a note um, um okay Then make sure that's next to the variable over here. And I'm just gonna add a cash sign to it. And if you haven't already subscribe, turn on notifications and comment down below. Also like the video. So I'm just gonna add a dollar sign right there so now that indicates how much cash we have remember to save your project now go back to the coin and we want to code this variable right here the coins because we want it to increase every time we click on here so just get a set coins to zero at the start because remember everything resets so then get a change coins by one after, uh, underneath touch and mouse pointer and mouse down so that sense as if it's touching the mouse pointer and mouse down which is when we're clicking it changes coins by one but there's a problem if we try it the coins go up by too much you can easily just do this and that'll be cheating and it'll be too easy so what you need to do is get to wait until um let me just look for it where is it yes here wait until not so you can just duplicate that not touch a mouse pointer and mouse down so it's waiting until we're not clicking that means that it's only gonna change it by it's, it's only gonna increase our cash if we're clicking on it let me just save my project and now if we try it doesn't go up by too much i'm holding it like i'm hold clicking it or something and it's not going up so now Ta-da! See, so it goes up by one. We've added a clicking effect, and that's all for today, guys. In the next episode, I probably will be adding some more. Up, I'll be adding upgrades and some maybe special effects. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.